Hello, welcome back to Storytime. Today we're going to read Hungry, Hungry Sharks. And it's written by Jonah Cole and illustrated by Patricia Wine. Okay, you know the word hungry. Yeah, when you're hungry, you want to dance? No. Sleep? No. How about eat? Yes, when you're hungry, you want to eat. So, if we see hungry, hungry, does that mean just a little hungry or very hungry? Yeah, very hungry. And you know what this animal is. This animal is a shark. Yes, yeah, so we have the shark. And where do sharks live? Yeah, in the sea or in the ocean. So our book is going to be about, you said it, sharks today. Okay, are you ready to read? Okay, follow along and here we go. Millions and millions of years ago, the earth did not look the way it does now. Strange looking plants grew in swamps. Reptiles with wings flew in the air. So here we have these, what we call pterodactyls, these flying reptiles. And it looks like there's a really big lizard. So this book is talking about a very long time ago. Sharks have been around for a very long time. So this book you will see this book will tell us. Everywhere on land were dinosaurs, dinosaurs, dinosaurs. So here we see all of these dinosaurs. All different kinds of dinosaurs. Tall dinosaurs, long dinosaurs, small dinosaurs, and big dinosaurs. Out at sea, there were strange creatures too. Some looked like dragons, some looked like fish. This big fish could swim very fast. It had sharp teeth and a big fin on its back. What kind of fish was this? A shark. So where is the shark? Can you find the shark in this picture? Yes, the brown one. So that is the shark. And then we have, there's a turtle. Turtles are also very old animals. They've been around for a long, long time. Before humans, actually, before us. And then we see, it looks like a kind of dolphin in the, jumping in the ocean, the purple one. There are no more dinosaurs left on Earth. Have you seen a dinosaur? No, me too, I haven't. But there are still plenty of sharks. Today, there are more than 300 kinds of sharks. So there are many kinds of sharks. You probably know one shark called the great white shark or the hammerhead shark, but there are so many kinds. And here we see there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, showing eight different kinds on this page. Not all sharks are big. Many, many kinds are less than three feet long. So many sharks are really small. They're not quite big. And three feet is about one meter. The dwarf shark is no bigger than your head. Wow, look at that. Could you imagine holding a shark in your hand? The small carpet shark lies on the ocean floor like a rug. So this shark is called the carpet shark. And carpet is another word for rug. So it just lies on the ocean floor like a carpet. The leopard shark has spots. It grows to be about four feet long. 
So all of these sharks here are small. The biggest shark is the whale shark. It is longer than a bus. The whale shark has 3,000 teeth, but it will never bite you. It eats only tiny shrimp and fish. So there we see this huge whale shark, but it only eats shrimp and fish. The whale shark is very gentle. A diver can even hitch a ride on its back. Can you find the diver? Yeah, there's the diver and the diver is holding on to its, what is that called? Fin, yeah. These are blue sharks. They are far out at sea, hunting for food. Suddenly, they pick up the smell of blood. The sharks speed up. They shoot through the water like torpedoes, so they're moving very fast. In a few minutes, they find a dead whale. So sadly, this whale has died, and they could smell the blood, and so they swam towards that smell, and they found the whale. The blue sharks tear off big chunks of whale meat. Now the water is full of biting sharks. If one shark gets hurt, the others turn on it. So turn on it means they attack it. They will eat that shark too. In a short time, the whale is all gone. The sharks swim away, nothing is left, nothing but bones. So sharks eat plants or meat? Yes, sharks eat meat. That's why they have the sharp teeth, so they can tear the meat. Blue sharks are called the wolves of the sea. This is because they stay together in packs. So a pack is a group. And wolves also stay in a group. Blue sharks often swim after a ship for days. A long time ago, sailors thought this meant that someone was going to die. Why do blue sharks really follow ships? Hmm, what do you think? Why do you think a blue shark follows a ship? Well, let's think for a second. So a ship, does it stay on the water for a long time? Today, ships can move a little faster because they can navigate better and they have engines. But in the past, ships didn't move as fast, so they stayed at sea for a long time. And when the ships had the food waste, what do you think they did with the food waste? Did they keep it on the ship? No, because it will get stinky. So maybe they threw it into the water. Let's see. The sharks come because of noises from the ship. Then they stay to eat garbage that is thrown into the water. Yeah, so here. So the sharks hear the sound. And so they go to the ship. And then they wait for what? Yes, they wait for the garbage. The most dangerous shark in the sea is the great white shark. It is named after its white belly. So it's called the great white. Great means very big. And then the white is for its white belly. The teeth of the great white shark are big and sharp. Very, very sharp. It can eat a whole seal in one bite. The great white shark is the size of a speedboat. So it's also a very big shark. This great white shark has just had babies. Most fish lay eggs, but most sharks do not. Their babies are born alive. So just like us, just like humans. 
A baby shark is called a pup. The pup of the great white shark is almost the size of a man. So, even though a pup is small compared to its mom, it is still maybe as big as your dad or bigger. As soon as they are born, the pups go their own way. It is not safe to stay near a hungry mother. Yeah, so sharks will, if they're hungry, eat each other. <laughs> so they swim away. Bye, mom. <laughs> the baby sharks swim off to catch their own food. One eats a fish. Another gets a crab. The pups had better watch out for puffer fish. Can you find the puffer fish? Look at page 27. Yeah, that is a puffer fish, and the puffer fish has pointy spikes. So maybe if it bites those pointy spikes, it won't like it. The puffer fish, the puffer fish can blow up like a balloon. If a shark eats it, its spines get stuck in the shark's throat. The shark will die. So the shark does not want to eat the puffer fish. The puffer fish is small, but it's dangerous for the shark. Not many animals can kill great white sharks. The stingray flaps through the sea like a giant bat. Its tail has a poison stinger. So poison is something that, that's not good and it can often hurt another animal or kill the animal. The poison can kill most animals. But a great white shark can eat a stingray, stinger and all. So can the stingray hurt the, the great white shark? No. The swordfish is a very strong fish. Look at its nose. Its nose is very long and pointy, and so that's why it's called the swordfish. It can cut and stab with its long nose. But even a swordfish almost always loses a fight with a great white shark. Another big shark is the hammerhead shark. It is easy to see how it got its name. So look at its head. It looks like a hammer, right? Yeah, its eyes are on the side. Like other big sharks, the hammerhead never sleeps and never stops swimming. Most fish have air balloons inside of them. But sharks do not. If they stop swimming, they sink. So a regular fish can stop flapping its tail because it has an air bladder inside like a balloon, and that lets it stay up in the water. But the shark doesn't have this kind of balloon inside, this air bladder, so it must always swim or it will sink, go down into the water. This hammerhead swims to a group of dolphins. It tries to catch one of the young dolphins, but sharks do not always get their way. The dolphins fight back. One dolphin dives under the water. It comes up and hits the hammerhead. The shark flies up into the air. It falls back on the water. Smack! So now the dolphins are challenging the hammerhead. The dolphins keep hitting the shark. After a while, the shark stops moving. It sinks down into the water. It is dead. So these dolphins worked as a team and they killed the shark because the shark was trying to kill them. Dolphins are smart animals. 
they can work together to kill an enemy. But sharks are not as smart. They have tiny brains. A shark's brain is small, but its teeth are big. It has many rows of teeth. When a tooth breaks off, a new tooth moves up to take its place. A shark uses up thousands of teeth every year. Wow, so if a shark loses a tooth, a new one replaces it. Think of us, when we lose our teeth, so maybe now you are losing your teeth, but the new teeth that replace the teeth that fall out now, that is the last set, so we only get two sets of teeth. If our second set falls out, then we don't have any more teeth. So we have to take very good care of our teeth. So the shark doesn't have to brush their teeth because their teeth can be replaced very easily. Page 37. What do sharks eat with all these teeth? Fish and more fish. Other sharks? Seals, turtles, crabs, almost anything that swims in the sea. Sometimes sharks eat things that are not food. No one knows why. All these things have been found inside big sharks. Wow, so look at all of these things that have been found. So we have a wallet, a fur coat, a drum, a bottle of wine, a chest of jewels, a barrel of nails, and a suit of armor. Yeah, so all of these things have been found inside of sharks' bellies. Do sharks eat people? Yes, they do. If a person is near a big shark, the shark may attack. But the number of people killed by sharks is very small. More people die from bee stings than from shark bites. Sharks do not go hunting for people, but people do go hunting for sharks. Some people like to go fishing for sharks. They have to be careful. A shark may look dead. Then all at once, it can wake up and bite. So these people are fishing and they're trying to catch the shark. But it looks like the shark scared them. Scientists want to study sharks. So a study, they want to learn more about them. But it is hard to study them at sea. And it is hard to keep big sharks alive in a tank. So a tank is, for example, the aquarium where you might go and see a shark. They put it in a tank with other fish. But the shark did not eat. And it kept bumping into the sides of the tank. After a few days, the shark began to die. So the scientists took the shark back to sea. They set it free. So the shark wasn't happy living in the tank because it wasn't its home. There are many things we do not know about sharks. We do not know how long sharks live or how much food a shark has to eat to stay alive. But we do know that sharks are here to stay. They are fast and strong. They hardly ever get sick. And there is always plenty of food for them. As long as there are oceans, there will be sharks. So we learned a lot about sharks. And we learned that sharks are an extremely old animal that has been around for a long time, since the dinosaurs. All right. Well, that is the end of story time for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, bye-bye.